CataractCoach.com, Summering's Ring Extraction, and a bonus video. Gotta see this, how to use viscoelastic to remove the last bit of cortex. Our guest surgeon here is Dr. Val Apostlov from Amsterdam. I have a lot of videos from Val on our website. I really enjoy watching him. So here's a patient. He has to go back inside the eye for a glaucoma surgery. But while he's there, he notices that there's a huge Somrings ring. So using a bimanual approach here, he's going to dissect it free. And this is a 360 degree ring. You can see through that peripheral iridotomy there in the bottom right corner of your screen that there's even more on that side. The rex is a little bit on the small side from this original surgery, which was done many years prior, and there's probably some capsule contraction there as well. So he's freeing up this big Somrings ring here. And this is a huge amount of material you will see. To get this out of the eye, this is like doing another cataract surgery. Look how big that is, and that's only half of it. So he'll carefully dial this up out of the bag and bring it into the anterior chamber. There it is. There's about half of it. Wow. This obviously happened over the course of many, many years. And how do you remove it now? Well, he's going to do something very innovative here. He's going to use basically a bimanual phaco technique. He's going to use a phaco probe with just the phaco needle in his left hand with no sleeve on it through that small side port. And then the right hand has the infusion. And so... Just little tiny bits of energy are all you need here, and that's why you're not going to get a corneal wound burn. Plus, you see that incision leaks sufficiently to cool down the phaco needle. But just to bring that piece of Somring's ring to the tip of the phaco probe, and then just lightly give a little bit of energy, you'll get that emulsified. So, wow. Now, could you have left this in the eye? I suppose you could have. But I agree with Dr. Apostolov. While you're there doing this glaucoma surgery, it makes sense. Let's clean this up. Let's minimize the inflammatory burden on the eye. Because if we stir this up and these have proteins that are going to probably cause inflammation. So, he's going to remove the whole thing. That looks great. Remember, that's only half of it. Look through that peripheral erdotomy on the bottom right. So now he's gonna go back in and do a little bit more dissection. So you can try with uh, these instruments to kind of free it up or loosen it from the adhesions it has. Obviously you wanna be careful here not to damage the capsular bag. And he's gonna get the other half of this Somrings ring out. Now the Somrings ring is more common in aphakic eyes and other certain types of eyes. But it can happen in essentially any eye after many years after a cataract surgery. So there he sees it. There's that huge Somrings ring. And he's just going to get that and kind of bring it up. And again, do the same technique. And here it, here it comes, loosening it up quite nicely. And actually, now you see that's a posterior capsulotomy in the back. And the anterior rexus is actually pretty good sized. But still, taking his time to get this thing out. Now the question is, with a large peripheral erdotomy like that, by removing the Somrings ring, is the patient going to notice now additional glare coming in with light entering that large PI? Eh, who knows? But I still agree. Let's get this thing out of here. You don't want, look at this. You don't want to leave that inside the eye. That doesn't belong there. That has to come out. Wow, look at how big that thing is. That has to be removed. So let's dial it up in the anterior chamber. Very nice. And use our same technique here. So they're pushing it centrally and putting it right there in the center of the anterior chamber. Here comes the phaco probe again. So by manual approach, he's not going to make a big incision. So he doesn't, not going to do the coaxial style. That's why it's by manual. He wants to stick with the two small pairs and pieces. Smart, smart decision there. And you don't need much phaco energy for this. Just little tiny bursts of energy, just enough to emulsify it there. And you can aspirate it down pretty easily. You can see as he steps on that pedal and gives a little bit of energy, it goes down pretty nicely. Now, be careful if you're doing this in, uh, in an eye with an open capsule or an aphakic eye. You don't want to lose any of these big pieces into the vitreous cavity. In this case, there's no worries about that. So this will come out quite nicely. He'll go on and then do the glaucoma procedure as well for this patient, and the outcome was nice. I'd like to show you this video because this is not something we see often. I mean, you're gonna do less than one on a thousand cases is gonna be removal of a Somrings ring. But just so you've seen it before and you know how to do it, I appreciate it. Thanks, Val, for some great video. Now, the next thing I'm gonna show you, 
Wait till you see this. This is another trick from Dr. Poslov of how to get out that last bit of cortex. All right, let's get to it. End of the case, before you fill up the caps or bag of viscoelastic, let's aim the viscoelastic over at that last piece and inject right into the caps or bag equator and you can use that viscoelastic to push that piece of cortex right out. Let's watch it again. So at the end of the case, cataracts out, little bit of cortex left. You can inject viscoelastic right at the equator and push that last bit of cortex right out. That makes life a lot easier. You can then remove it at this point or just go ahead and insert the IOL after filling up the caps or bag and then you can remove it all at the end because it's all been freed up. Wow, there's another piece that was hidden. Neat technique. Let's watch it again. So here, viscoelastic cannula being used to inject OVD in the caps or bag equator and push that big piece of lens cortex forwards and out. There it goes. Looks great. So neat technique. Here's the last video of that same thing. Thanks, Dr. Poslov. Always a pleasure to watch your videos. You're certainly an extremely talented surgeon. There goes the last bit of viscoelastic, pushing out that last bit of cortex. Hey, ready for the lens? Case almost done.